My name is Knight Gideon and today we are going to install Windows Server 2016. So before we get started, there are a couple of things we should know before starting the installation of what? Windows Server 2016. First of all, to install Windows Server 2016, you must get a physical machine or a virtual machine. If I talk of virtual machine, it's not a new thing. You must get a software that can help you to install this Windows Server 2016 virtually. There are a lot of software, software available that can help you to install Windows Server 2016. We have VirtualBox, we have VMware Workstation, we have Hyper-V. All these softwares can help you to install Windows Server 2016 virtually. But if you want to install it on a physical machine, that one, you are going to get a physical server machine. Okay? Before you can what? Install. So, second, we are going to see how to set up server machine by creating bootable or installing from network for us we are going to use virtual machine to do we are not going to install on a physical server machine okay so we are not going to create any bootable and we are not going to install from network but for those who are going to install server 2016 on a what physical machine they are going to create bootable or they can choose to install from network if you want to set install from network you must to make sure that the network or the domain that you are inside have what windows deployment services running then secondly on your bios you set up your boot option to pixie booting for that one you can put or you can install from the network straightforward and secondly or thirdly thirdly sorry thirdly the ram must not supposed to be less than four gig it should be four gig and above eight gig 16 gig 32 gig apples and you, again, you are you must to have a CPU with not less than 2.0 gigahertz speed. Dual calls, you can install. Quad calls, you can install server 2016 on it. But the best way is to get i3, i4, i sorry, i3, i5, or i7. A powerful machine. So many people think that server is a physical world hard way that people will go for but it's not like that server is an operating system which have been what installed on a powerful computer okay that provides services to its client that server and the last thing is we are going to what provide a strong password for the server that we are going to install so for no wasting time we are going to set up windows server machine by create by using what virtual box okay so oracle vmware virtual box is the software i'm going to use to show you how to install windows server 2016 but as an administrator if you want to install on a physical machine you are not supposed to use oracle virtual box okay what you're supposed to do is you are supposed to make the image of your server os bootable and on your bios of your physical machine boot option you set the configuration to what boot from usb then you insert your bootable pen drive then you can what boot or install windows server 2016 but for me i'm going to use virtual box for you so let's get started by creating a new virtual machine okay so the name we are going to give to our machine is windows windows server 
2016 yes select other operating other windows 64 bit then you click next so what is the memory that we are going to give to our server virtually i'm going to give four gigabytes memory to my server so next create a virtual hard disk yeah we want to create a virtual hard disk dynamic allocated all these things is, are not necessary okay so what is the name of the server of the virtual hard, what, hard drive we are going to call it windows server 2016 hard drive okay so let's create the virtual hard drive and this is our machine virtually to install windows server 2016 okay so on our virtual machine we are going to set where to boot our image from okay so i'm going to boot it from the optical drive that's the cd rom so let me set my optical drive where the image is okay so i've said that optical drive this is the image that you must use to boot or you must use to install my server 2016 for me and this is server 2016 image downloaded from microsoft okay so if you want the image what you should do is go to microsoft.com create an account then what download your windows server 2016 and you are good to go so let's start our virtual what machine by clicking on start it, if you click on start it applies the same way to your physical machine somewhere that you are going to press the power button to start the machine okay so this is what we are getting shoe this is the first interface of Windows Server 2016. It's a server what OS. So, what language are we going to install? By default, it's United States, United States, okay. And the time and the currency format the same English, United States, US keyboard format. We are not going to change anything. So, we will click next, and you are here. You can choose to repair your computer if you've already installed windows server 2016 but for now we are going to start fresh installation so you click install now yeah windows activation we are not going to install it right now we are going to install it after completion of the installation so click i don't have a product key then you are the next stage operating system what that you want to install we have standard edition we have data center edition and for the standard edition we have the core one the core one does not have GUI. If I talk of GUI, I mean graphic user interface. That one, you are not going to get any icon at the desktop. You are going to get a black screen, a command line what interface. We are not going to install the core one. We are going to install data center with what GUI. So you pick data center with GUI and click next. Accept the Lances Agreement of Microsoft and click next. We are not going to upgrade this server it's a fresh server so we are going to do a custom install okay this is where you are going to partition your hard drive so we are having 20 gigabytes hard drive 
virtually virtually but it can be for physically you have one terabyte two terabytes of hard drive space okay it doesn't matter so we are going to partition our what hard drive click new we are going to partition to be 20 gigabyte as defaults okay then click next to continue the installation now the installation of windows server 2016 have started and it's what on the way going so what we should do is i'm going to pause this video small for some times before we what continue So this is the first process and our computer is going to restart. So after restart, we are going to continue and continue till the installation of Windows Server 2016 is end. I'll go to the end, okay? It's ended. So our machine is going to restart not less than, let's say, um, one minute time. Okay, yeah. So our machine is restarting. So restart and restart and restart and restart. So we finish the installation. Okay. Yes, so our machine have restarted three times. And with this screen, we are going to provide our password. Okay. The server is not like 
ordinary ordinary clients what OS with server server need a strong password we don't provide Microsoft Windows Server 23 20 12 20 16 a strong password you cannot install or if you can install this server is not going to give you any interface unless you provide a strong password so what is strong password as somebody will say a strong password is a password that contains letters numbers and symbols that's a strong password a strong password is a password that contains letters numbers and symbols so we are going to provide a strong password for microsoft windows server 2016 so let's provide one two three four five shift exclamation mark q w oh sorry one two three four five exclamation mark q w okay same thing here one two three four five exclamation mark q w then we press enter guys so this is the this is the process you must go through to install windows server 2016 so now we are going to log in into our server as an administrator because the username that we gave us was administrator and we provide a password which was a strong password so now we are going to use that password to log in into our server as administrator okay so click control plus alternative delete key okay Then you enter your password one two three four five exclamation mark Q W you press enter Yeah, so that is all you need to know about the installation of Windows Server 2016. Okay, my name is Knight Gideon once again, and you are welcome to kbest.it. Always visit us and you know more about IT. Thank you for watching.